what is your willingness to pay for the Cybertruck? Do you think that trucks other than the Cybertruck are more worthy and superior? There are a lot of different perspectives on this, but let me offer you one that should help you make choices and make money down the future. This movie will likely include discussions about the top electric vehicles, including the Nissan Leaf, Kia, and Chevy Bolt. If you continue to watch, you'll also get some insight into the design of the Cybertruck. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. Let's get started with this video right away. The CEO of an automotive media company compared his enthusiasm for an enigmatic object to the challenges of determining a price for the much expected Cybertruck during a television discussion. He proposed that the first cost might go up to $80,000. He did, however, express his admiration for the vehicle and predicted that its creator, Elon Musk, will soon be able to lower the cost to an enticing $40,000. This tempting offer of a spectacular $40,000 truck seemed unrealistic, especially when you consider that competitors like the Ford F-150 and Ram have pricing between $50,000 and $60,000, with the possibility of possibly of possibly reaching a staggering $100,000. Musk first announced in 2019, three and a half years earlier, that the Cybertruck would cost $39,000, drawing comparisons to Tesla's previous Model 3 pricing approach. According to the CEO, they would follow a similar path and eventually introduce a $39,000 vehicle. Uh, however, he believed that Tesla would be lucky to start under $75,000, given that three or four motors would be included. Further speculating, he claimed that Tesla would deliver it in this fashion. The much-awaited $39,000 truck was on its way, but $80,000 up front would be required for those who desired the fully equipped variant with four motors. The Cybertruck was first envisioned by Musk as a $40,000 rear-wheel drive vehicle with a 250-mile range. It could accelerate a truck from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, which is quite fast. If an all-wheel drive option was selected, the car would go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, they could have 500 miles of range for an additional $10,000, and for an incredible $70,000, they could have a tri-motor all-wheel drive truck that could go from 0 to 60 MPA, just 2.9 seconds. This truck has accomplished an amazing achievement. It's fascinating to remember that there were rumors that Chevy was developing a car with an EPA-certified range of 450 miles, which would be unveiled the following year. Though the battery's exact measurements were still unknown, theories suggested that it would have a 200 kWh capacity and a 350 kWh charging capacity. On the other hand, should the Cybertruck ever become a reality, it is predicted to charge three times quicker than the Chevy truck. This is a big advantage, but the Cybertruck's cost was still a mystery even after these revelations. It is highly probable that Tesla intended to keep the general public in the dark right up until the very end, possibly through the end of September. According to Electric, Tesla may decide not to produce a model with rear-wheel drive and may raise the price of the base all-wheel drive option by $10,000 from its initial estimate. They also speculated that Tesla would introduce an all-wheel drive variant with four motors that would start at $85,000 and accelerate to 60 mph in an astounding 2.5 seconds. The range of this kind would be 450 miles. It was obvious that Tesla would want to keep prices around $80,000 because going above that would prevent consumers from getting the $7,500 EV tax credit, a benefit that was highly desired by them. The CEO anticipated that Tesla would launch with the most expensive trim since it would likely generate more revenue that way, but he also believed that the company would eventually reach the $40,000 price point. Independent research that revealed an incredible 78% of market participants were highly interested in owning an electric automobile provided evidence for this excitement. Um... Furthermore, their prediction indicated that in the next five years, about 50% of the potential buyers would definitely or definitely choose an electric car as their major mode of transportation. As we tune in, many of us are thinking about buying an electric vehicle. Concerns include cost, worry related to range, options for charging, and the ideal timing for switching. However, it appears inevitable that we will be driving electric cars very soon, possibly within the next five years. Those who doubt that EV adoption will occur by 2030, given that EV adoption is currently just 30%, may be missing the mark. China and Europe are already approaching that amount, so these analysts may wish to reevaluate their conclusions. It's crucial to note separately that, because the stock has somewhat increased, some people's perceptions have changed. Omar is pleased to report that Elon Musk and the Tesla management are no longer viewed as total nuts. However, if the stock price drops in the future, this opinion may alter. Although it is likely that Tesla will recover and reach new highs, this shows how analysts often use other people's work as a source of information, somewhat altering the data to suit their viewpoints. For instance, if the consensus is 30%, they may suggest adopting 35% of EVs by 2030. It's interesting to note that well-known electric cars EVs, such as the Tesla Model 3 and Ford Mustang Mach-E, score highly in the information supplied by the usual suspects. However, based on current patterns, the Rivian is now the most sought-after electric vehicle in general. 
This is significant because unlike the previous year when Rivian took home the Truck of the Year award, this year's winner is the Lightning Ford F-150, another electric car. These vehicles are really unique. Having personally driven the Rivian and knowing that you have driven the Lightning, we can attest to the exceptional performance. Not to be disregarded, though, is the Cybertruck, which I've had the honor of experiencing. It's an incredible ride. The Rivian stands out in particular because it has four motors, although many other trucks only have one or two. The Rivian's four motors provide a singular experience. It's also important to note that regenerative brake technology is fantastic because it allows for one pedal driving. This is a big change for those of us of us accustomed manual gears with three pedals. It's also necessary to discuss the Rivian's design, which many of you agree is fantastic and which I find astounding every time I see it. Curious, I went to a website to see what other electric cars were receiving positive evaluations. It astonished me to see that the Kia and Nissan Leaf were ranked second and third respectively, and that the Chevy Bolt was the highest rated electric vehicle. While many of you may argue that it's the most cost-effective option, it doesn't seem right to refer to it as the best electric car. I discovered a category for the best electric SUVs up there. Looking down, I could see that the Hyundai Ioniq was leading the pack, closely followed by the Ford Mustang and Kia. Oddly enough, there was absolutely no mention of Tesla. I read on, hoping to find some parallels between Tesla and VW or some other competitor like Chevy, but there was no mention of the Tesla Model Y. Although Wikipedia claims that the Tesla Model 3 is considered a large family car in Europe, I was a little surprised to learn that it was classified as a compact premium automobile. It has always seemed like a mid-sized car to me. This discrepancy worried me a little since the best electric car category should comprise both expensive and low-cost models. The website almost looks to be biased against Tesla and in favor of some firms who place advertisements there. Now let's discuss the design of an alternative vehicle. I'm not sure if I think the Cybertruck is real. It appears that no one who would be interested in a Ford F-150, Rivian, or even a non-electric pickup truck would be buying this automobile. It's just not appealing. Nevertheless, I have to admit that in a dismal future, the Cybertruck may come in handy if you needed a tough vehicle akin to a road warrior. Though I'm sure I'll receive hate mail for this, I kind of enjoy it from a design standpoint. I understand why many people won't want it and why it's contentious. They are drawn to the Ford F-150 because of its adaptability and unwillingness to lose market share, making it the best-selling vehicle for the past 10 years. Nevertheless, Tesla never fails to surprise us. Musk had first promised that the Cybertruck would have three motors, but Rivian later disclosed that it will actually have four. If Tesla matches that, it is not shocking at all. I believe Tesla will be successful with the Cybertruck despite the controversy around it. After all, they were already successful with their semi-trucks. Never undervalue Musk. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you haven't already. I am Stock News for Tesla. I'll see you in the next video.